Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. Agbakoba has said no leader has spoken for African continent like Ashwa Dubola Metunumbu, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria did at the United Nations General Assembly, asserting that we are not beggars. A former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, Ulisa Bakoba, a senior advocate of Nigeria, has praised President Ashwa Jubala Metunumbu for the speech he delivered at the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA, on the equality of the African continent with other continents of the world. President Ashwa Jubala Metunumbu, while addressing world leaders at the 78th session of the UNGA, the United Nations General Assembly said that unfair treatment and foreign exploitation have stunted Africa's progress, stressing that Africa is not in any way inferior to other continents of the world. Reacting to Ashwa Dubala Metunumbu's address, Bakoba in a post on X said that no African leader has ever spoken to the entire African continent as the Nigerian president did. Abakoba in the post in the post attacked a well received statement at the United Nations General Assembly UNGA said never in the history of the United Nations General Assembly UNGA as an African president spoken for the entire African continent asserting that we are not beggars but equal partners with the geopolitical blocks of the world. Not since Kwame Nkrumah and his vision for a pan African agenda for development as any African leader, as any African leader delivered a speech on behalf of the 54 nations of Africa. Africa has only itself to blame if it fails to uphold, to build upon the significant policy speech delivered by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in person of Ashwa Jubala Metunumbu at the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA. Let all of us in Africa rally our collective energies and declare to the world that we are awake and not beggars but partners. Ashwa Dubala Metunumbu who said while addressing the world leaders at the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA said that the unfair that unfair treatment and foreign exploitation have stunted African progress, stressing that Africa is not in any way inferior to other continents of the world. President Ashwa Jubala Metsunubu, who delivered a speech at the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA, on the equality of the African continent while with other countries of the world. A former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Olisa Bakoba, has praised President Ashwa Jubala Metsunubu for the speech he delivered at the UNGA. He said that no African leaders has ever spoken for the entire African continent as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria did. He said a well-received statement at UNGA and never in the history of the United Nations General Assembly as any African president spoken for the entire continent asserting that we are not beggars but equal, but equal partners with the geopolitical blocks of the world as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and President of Ashwa Jubala Metunubu did. He said not since Kwame Nkrumah and his vision for a pan-African agenda for development as any African leader delivered a speech on behalf of the 54 nations of Africa like President Ashiwa Jubala Metsunobu did. Ashiwa Jubala Metsunobu, who is a Nigerian politician, who is currently serving as the 16th President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was a senator in Lagos West in, in the Third Republic. Ajwajibola Ahmed Tunumbo spent his early life in the southwestern Nigeria and later moved to the United States, where he studied accounting at Chicago State University. He returned to the Federal Republic of Nigeria in early 1990s as was employed by Mobi Nigeria as an accountant. Before entering politics as a Lagos West senatorial candidate in 1992 under the banner of the Social Democratic Party. After the dictator Sonia Bacha dissolved the Senate in 1993, Tinubu became an activist campaigning for the return of democracy as the part of the National Democratic Coalition Movement. Mm-hmm.
in the first post-transition Lagos State gubernatorial election, Tinubu won by a wide margin as a member of the Alliance for Democracy. Four years later, he won re-election to a second term. After leaving office in 2007, he played a key role in the formation of the All Progressive Congress in 2013. In 2009, following the landslide victory of the People's Democratic Party PDP in the April 2007 election, Tinubu became, became involved in a negotiation to bring together the fragmented position, opposition parties in the mega in the mega party capable of challenging the then ruling People's Democratic Party. In March 2009, there were reports that a plot has been identified to assassinate Tinubu. In February 2013, Tinubu was among several politicians who created a mega political opposition party with a major of Nigeria's three biggest opposition parties, the Action Congress of Nigeria ACN, the Progress for the Congress for Progressive Change CPC, the All Nigerian People Party ANPP, a faction of the All Progressive Guard Alliance ABGA, and the New People Democratic Party, a faction of the Then People Democratic Party, into the All Progressive Congress. In 2014, Tunubu supported former military leader. Military Head of State General Muhammadu Buhari, who was the leader of the Congress for Progressive Change, CPC faction of the All Progressive Congress, who commanded widespread following in northern Nigeria and has previously contested in 2003, 2007 and 2011 presidential election as the CPC presidential candidate. Tinubu went on to play an important role in Buhari administration, supporting government and policies holding on to the important party reins in lieu of his long-held remote presidential aspiration. In 2019, he supported Buhari re-election campaign, defeating the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate al Haji Ati In 2020, following an interna- internal party crisis, which led to the removal of Ashiwa Jubolame Tinubu Alai and the party chairman Adamu Shiomole. It is believed that the move was to score to Tinubu's presidential prospects ahead of 2023. On the 10th of July, January 2022, Tinubu made his formal announcement for candidacy for president. On the 8th of June 2022, he won the party convention vote of the ruling APC against Yemi Osibajo, the vice president, and Ruti Miyamichi. On the 1st of March 2023, the Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu as the winner of the 2023 general election. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.